Hi, my name is Paul Tranny, and I'd like to show you how to take advantage of the camera that's built into most smartphone devices today. So I'm going to do this all in flash. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and load in some code snippets into my code snippets panel. So import code snippets XML. I'll select mobile XML and open to import all of these code snippets right down here. So again, you can do a lot on mobile. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and take advantage of the camera UI, the camera user interface. Now, this is going to be different from, uh, say, for instance, using the webcam. I can use that code. I can actually uh, have something on my device in my application that actually gets the camera and shows it in, say, for instance, a little window. But what I want to do is I'm going to use camera UI, and that's going to take advantage of the actual camera app on my phone. So that's the big difference here. So with camera UI selected, all I'm going to do is just double click on it. Now it does say an action, this action requires an object to be selected on the stage. And the object I'm going to select is going to be this take photo button right here. It's known as picture underscore BTN. So again, with it selected, double click on camera UI, and it adds all of that code. All right, seems like quite a bit. There's, there's a lot going on here, but it is really powerful. So the first thing we have here are the import statements that's really going to make everything work. OK? So that's all set up. And right up here at the top, I'm going to go ahead and what these two do is it instantiates or creates a device camera app UI instance is what it does. So this is really going to do most of the work. Then there is the image loader. And that is once we take a picture with the camera UI, it's going to go ahead and load it into the image loader. So this is going to be our image, uh, our image loader reference. All right, but device camera app is really what I want to use. OK, so next up, right down here, we have our picture button. And again, when they click on that button, it's going to go ahead and fire off this function. And the first thing that happens is if there is a camera available, then it's going to go ahead and launch the uh, media type, whatever takes photos on the camera. Okay, so it's going to launch their camera app, and that's what happens right here. Okay, and notice there's this trace statement as well. So I can provide feedback because it might take a little bit of time to launch that camera app. In fact, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and display some of that information in this text field right here, and it's called results. So I'm just going to copy that instance name go back into my code here, just so I can see this being displayed on my device to let the user know that the camera is initializing. OK, results text, text equals initializing camera. OK, so again, it's going to go ahead and launch the camera app. That's what happens here, and then when a photo is taken, so on complete, it's going to fire off this image captured. All right, otherwise, if they don't have, uh, say for instance, a camera, then we want to display this information right here. Uh, camera, camera interface is not supported. All right, so again, uh, on complete, once the photo is taken, image captured, this function fires off right down in here. And I'll just paste this in here for this results text says media captured. There is a media promise. And this is uh, basically gets the data of the photo. And again, if there's any sort of lag, uh, this will actually enable you to get the data before the photo actually exists or appears in the app. So you can use media promise. Uh, quite frankly, today's devices are so fast uh, that you hardest, hardly notice a lag. Uh, but again, that is available. And that's what I'm doing. I'm getting the media promise. And again, it's just the data from the picture that's being taken. Here's my image loader, just creates a new one. And uh, once it's completed, it's just going to go ahead and load in that image right down here. So uh, again, once it's completed, 
async image loaded it fires off this function right here. I'll change this trace statement, media loaded in memory, show media, image loader, and again, keep in mind, image loader does, of course, refer to the image. And what happens right down here with this very last function is it just adds that image to the stage. So what I will do in this case, in fact, I don't just want it to drop onto the stage uh, anywhere, quite frankly. Let's just pin this code. But what I want to do is I want it to load right in here in this movie clip. This movie clip is called the photo. So I'll copy that instance name, go back into my code, and it's going to load it right into there. In fact, I can control it just like I would any other object on my stage. So width is equal to 500. And let's make its height is equal to 325. And again, now it's just referred to of as the photo. And again, I can manipulate it all I want. So uh, with that in place, I'd say we're good to go. In fact, I'm going to go to File, into my Publish Settings. I'm going to publish this out to Air for Android. And again, I got that this extension off of labs.adobe.com. I'll go into Settings. Everything in here is set up just fine. Keep in mind that I am going with landscape ratio because often you're going to be taking a picture in landscape mode, and that's why I have the app set up that way. Let's go into permissions because there is, of course, one thing I need to do in here. For the permissions, I need to check camera. So again, allows the application to access the device's camera. So with that permission checked, I can go into deployment. Notice I have these two boxes checked, and it's basically going to publish out onto the Android device. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go ahead and click Publish. It's going to publish and launch on my device. And here it is on my device. Now, one key thing you need to keep in mind is you actually need to connect, disconnect it from the USB if you want to take advantage of the camera. Okay, So with it disconnected, now I can go ahead and select Take Photo. It launches that camera UI. I can go ahead and point it at the cameraman, take a shot, select Done. And when I select Done, it goes back to my app and places that photo exactly where I expected it to. It also gives me that confirmation media loaded into memory. So again, I was able to take advantage of the camera app on the device, which really gives me the flexibility to zoom. Uh, it might have a flash. It really depends on the device, those, that extra functionality that you get. But again, it's really easy to use. And you can obviously see the advantages that you have by tapping into it. So I encourage you to check out uh, Adobe Developer Connection for more information. Uh, but thanks for watching.